This here is another viewer's, oh, I'm so not flexible, <laughs> dirty gaming PC. And it's in desperate need of a deep cleaning, which is why it's here in this video. I expect we'll be taking everything apart and reassembling all of it with possibly the exception of the case. I apologize, I'm outside, cars, everything else you'll hear out here. Uh, but this is in the garage because it is extremely dirty. By this point, you know that the dirty ones stay out here. So we're gonna fully disassemble this outside. We're gonna clean as much as we can here. And then we'll take the, uh, the especially the, the main boards and the, and the like, the fans maybe, uh, after we've kind of brushed off the loose dust inside. And from there, we'll finish the job and then reassemble everything again. Hopefully by the end of this video, this thing will look totally transformed. Oh my gosh, I feel so old already. So, are you ready? Stay with me. If you're looking for an all-in-one cybersecurity solution, check out Acronis CyberProtect Home Office, formerly Acronis True Image. They specialize in data backup as well as anti-malware solutions, from data protection to threat prevention. So let's set up a hypothetical. Let's say you've got a huge stash of important documents stored on your local machine. You're looking for a cloud-based backup solution. Acronis has you covered. And now, let's say you've an itch to protect said data from attacks while it sits online, as you should. Acronis has you covered there as well, and you can easily restore information to new hardware in the event of a disaster. Their goal was to simplify the experience for the end user by unifying two otherwise standalone paid solutions, saving both money and hassle. You'll also get a heavy dose of peace of mind while you're at it, and it's very easy to get started. Click the sponsor link below and choose a cyber protection plan that meets your needs, ranging up to five computers and five terabytes of cloud storage. Acronis does the rest, everything from backup to threat prevention and restoration. Use our 30% discount code SALAZAR2022, no spaces, S-A-L-A-Z-A-R-2022, and give Acronis CyberProtect Home Office a shot today. Hey there, and welcome to PCDC, where the goal is to deep clean viewer systems in and around Orlando, Florida, for free. We charge nothing for the service, so if you have a dirty system, something that looks like this or worse, and you want a chance to have it cleaned for free, you can submit your system via the link in this video's description. Uh, the only requirements are that you be able to pick the system up and drop it off in person, uh, and that you have a dirty system. That's really it, and uh, this allows us to create videos like these. We can monetize these videos, and, and so that's where I make the bulk of my money, and that's why I don't charge anybody for anything. Your viewership, by the way, is one of the big reasons why we're able to continue doing this. Uh, the sponsors that we're able to put in videos like these, the product placements that you'll see, um, all of that helps us continue doing what we're doing in the area, so big thanks to everyone involved. There's an AMD FX CPU in here, so this is fairly dated AM3 Plus chipset, of course, and then the graphics card is a Radon uh, 7770, which is also pretty freaking old. In fact, I think we fixed a graphics card just like this on the channel recently. Uh, you can see the cable management is, is pretty lackluster CX 500 watt. At least it's a fairly modern power supply. At least it looks like it is. Uh, and then storage, you've got just your hard drive down here. We've got our optical drive up top. Uh, I might try to save this case just so that we can reuse the optical drive. I, I don't think it's too important to the owner. And I did make sure that there was nothing super sentimental in here that he wanted to keep just in case. But I, I don't know. I think at this point I might even try to reuse the case as well. Eh, it's it's really really gross though. Lastly, just look at this left side panel. Um, if this doesn't explain the state of things, I don't know what does. We have an intake fan on this side, an exhaust fan on this side for some reason. I don't know why that was done. But this is probably one of the main reasons why there's so much dust in here. This fan is just pulling in unfiltered air, and you can see it looks pretty darn gross. So uh, I'm gonna do my best to clean all this up. As for my cleaning gear, it's pretty much the same as it's always been. I'll have the stuff linked below if you're interested in picking up anything for yourself. The electric duster that I use comes in super handy. Anti-static nylon bristles uh, really help dislodge a lot of the more stuck on grime and dust that you'll find in these components. I have isopropyl alcohol in there. I have uh, shop towels, I have Q-tips. Anything you can really think of that might come in handy for cleaning a rig. I use, or at least try to, the one exception is an ultrasonic cleaner, which I think kind of takes the fun out of it. I like doing most of this stuff by hand and it makes for a pretty sweet video as well. But there's one other product I don't talk too much about and it's because it kind of just works behind the scenes, but it makes a heck of a lot of difference here in the office when I'm cleaning really dirty systems. This is a Lavoid air purifier. And so is this. They're tasked with removing the dust and grime floating around my office while cleaning dirty PCs like the one you just saw. And I'm so glad that I have these things. The N600S is the big daddy of the bunch and it covers up to 1,500 square feet of living space. 
which is why I thought it'd be perfect for my 300-ish square feet office. This is just some of the dust I vacuumed up after a single PCDC episode. But since using the N600S, I can breathe again without fear of my allergies flaring up. The void air purifiers pull dust in like magnets, thanks to circular filters and strong yet quiet motors. You can set multiple speeds, sleep cycles, and even now control them via apps you can download to your phone. And these things are great for more than just dusty old offices. I have Lavoie purifiers in each of my kids' rooms as well as our living room for an overall cleaner, healthier home. I invite you to give one a shot. Even if you don't think where you live is dirty, you'd be surprised, especially with pets or kids around, open windows, they can really come in handy. Learn more about Lavoie air purifiers like the N600S and 300S via the link below. With that, I hope you enjoy the cleaning montage. Are you ready? Cue the music. Three, two, one.
And uh, we're well into day two now, if you couldn't already tell. Uh, we need to power the system on, make sure that it posts. I have a bit of a confession to make. I didn't check beforehand that the system even worked. So, um, yeah, something I preach in almost every PCDC episode. But unfortunately, uh, I did not heed my own advice this time. I just overlooked it. I was so eager to get into the cleaning that uh, I forgot to check ahead of time that it actually works. So if it doesn't, in this case, I'm going to take responsibility for it and... Uh, do whatever I need to do to fix it. Is that? There, yes, that's the power button already. Everything looks like it's working. Just gonna try for a post here. It's got me all nervous now. Come on. Yes, that's it. All right, and there's the Windows 10 logo. So that's perfect. Uh, everything works and all the fans are spinning, no clipping, no odd sounds. We are ready to go. Well, thank you so much for watching this far into this video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the transformation play out. I am uh, satisfied with the way it, it turned out. I'm glad that I stuck with the original case. I know it's probably gonna be a bit of a bummer for the viewer, but at least he's getting a, a clean system. Um, of course, not being charged at all for it. And uh, the, the parts have been, for the most part, totally revitalized. Uh, so I expect that we'll have plenty more life left in these older components for, uh, I'd say, you know, maybe another two, three years before you, you really start feeling how dated they are. Uh, but you could certainly still play games with this rig. It's, it's entry level by, by this point in 2022 but uh, at least it's something, right? Uh, and I always get folks who are like, oh, why don't you upgrade them with this? Or why don't you give them a new graphics card, a new CPU? Look, you're more than welcome to donate hardware, okay? I, I don't have hardware that grows on trees. And uh, because of that, I kind of have to be, 
very particular about what I upgrade if I upgrade anything because I save a lot of the stuff for fix or flop. Uh, a lot of builds that straight up don't work at all are in more need of, of new hardware than rigs like this that already work out of the gate. Uh, so that's why I do things that way. Uh, other than that though, let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section below. Consider subscribing if you have not already and consider submitting your PC for a deep cleaning via the link in this video description if you live in and around Orlando, Florida and it looks especially dirty. Thanks again for all the support. My name is Greg. Thanks for deep cleaning with me.